What's up boys and girls? I've got another nice challenging real kickboxing workout here for you. It's 10 rounds. Each round has its own combination. So you're not just working on putting random techniques. Stick to the combo. I'm going to call it out in the round for you. Now you're going to see me changing stance throughout the workout. I'm just making the combinations fit around my injury, just fit around my rehab. You can change stance with me or you can do it from your orthodox or your southpaw stance. Let's go round one. You start with a lead jab into a lead leg low kick. So you're trying to stay nice and snappy with the jab and then bring your weight across to your supporting foot. Drive that shin across the thigh of your target. Jab high, kick low. Jab high, kick low. Nice simple one. Just keep moving around the bag. Keep your pace high on this one. It's only two moves. And make sure that guard stays tight. You can swim the arm as you kick. If you're kicking with the right leg, swim the right arm. But bring that left hand up to your head. Keep moving between your shots as well, whether that's just staying on your toes, a little bit of footwork left and right. This is going to be true for the whole workout. You never want to be standing still. Even if you're tired, just move around. You can paw at the bag, light jabs. Just keep moving. Get into the habit of getting your breath back in your stance. I'm going to be changing stance throughout the workout. You can do the same. The reason I'm changing stance is just to work around my injuries. You can copy me just to get the skill on both sides. Or you can just train from your preferred stance. Nearly there now. Keep that work going. Keep that chin down. Drive in that jab. Step across into the kick. Just a little bit. Move your head across so you're not a stationary target. End of the round coming up now. Keep the work rate up. Finish with some good technique. And rest. You've got a full minute to recover. You've got a full 60 seconds, so use it. Breathe deeply and keep yourself moving. The next combination you're going to get ready for is jab, cross, hook. Jab, cross, hook. One, two, three. I'll be doing this from southpaw. You can join me or you can throw it from orthodox. Jab, cross, hook. You've still got some time. We're not going to rush into it. Fill up those lungs. Get that air around your body. Let your circulation do its thing. Every time you see me disappear behind the camera, I'm checking the thing's still filming. Here we go. Jab cross hook. It's for two minutes. Jab cross hook. Move about light on your feet. You'll see I'm changing the height between a head hook punch and a body hook. You can do the same, but make sure you keep up that rear guard. So many people throw a hook and leave themselves open to a counter hook punch. The person who wins is basically the person with guard. So you be that person. Jab cross hook, one, two, three. Each punch should pull you into the next one. This combination should be flowing for you. One, two, three. One, two, three. Chin stays low. Tuck your chin down and pull your shoulders around as well, just to defend that head. If you're in boxing range, if you can hit them, they can hit you. Each punch should counter-rotate you into the next one. Set yourself up. Keep breathing deeply between shots as well. Fill those lungs up. Keep going now. Jab cross hook to the body. Jab cross hook to the head. If you're moving, keep breathing deep. Don't waste that time. It's only a two minute round. We're nearly at the end. 
Pick up your pace a bit now. Driving your shots. Come on, I want you to finish the round strong. Finish as strong as you started. Nearly there. Dig in a little bit. Time. There we go. You made it. Two rounds down already. Breathe deeply. If you've got a drink, if you're thirsty, make sure you sip it. Don't try to drink too much at once. If you interrupt your breathing too much, you know you're going to get a stitch. And that's not going to help you in these next rounds. For round three, your combination is going to be jab, rear leg roundhouse, and then steady yourself with another jab. So think of the jabs like fencing. You, you know, you're establishing your distance, you're establishing range, you jab high. When the opponent reacts, if they just cover, if they parry, as soon as they plant their feet to deal with that jab, bang, whack in the body kick, and then straight away to stop them coming back in at you, just a single jab will do the trick, pop. Jab, kick, jab. Jab, kick, jab. That's the rhythm you're going for. I'm going to be southpaw again in this combination. Feel free to join me. I'll throw it from orthodox. Here we go. Jab, kick, jab. This will really help your balance off the kick as well. This is why I picked this combination for us all. You can throw the roundhouse kick and you know it looks good, it feels good, but you land off balance and that's what's gonna count in the fight. So to train your stance and to train that balance, steady yourself with a punch on the end. It's practical for sparring and it's you know, really, really practical in the bag as you can see. Jab, kick, jab. Think of this in terms of how a human's going to react to your combination as well. Get their attention up high with the jab and then kick below it, whack the ribs. Ideally, I want them to commit the stance to deal with that jab. So you hit them with a few hard jabs in the fight, you know, make them realize they're a threat. And then when you throw it, they know they have to deal with it. And that's what you want. That's the reaction we're looking for. When you take this off the bag into sparring. Let's keep that stamina up. Let's keep that cardio building. Jab, kick, jab. Keep switching that guard as you go. Keep the guard up high. One, two, one. One, two, one. Keep yourself moving between those combos just like me. It's either footwork or it's head movement. Combine the two together. It's active rest. You need to get used to drawing that air in while you're still moving. If you stand still and look tired in a fight, you become an easy target. If you move around and you're still defending, no one can tell how tired you are. Let's push now. Final section of the round. Let's go. Make sure you're steady in those feet when you throw that last jab. That's the point of it. If you're off balance, you've got to start thinking why. Nice and snappy though. Jab, kick, jab. Nearly there. Time. Round down. Good job. Fill up those lungs and move around. If you get a drink, remember, just sip it. Don't drink too much. Don't be greedy. Next round that's coming up, I'm going to be orthodox. I'm throwing jab, cross into a rear leg kick. So the kick ideally is going to follow that cross. Don't pull the cross all the way back. And if you do, use it to rotate your hips fully into the kick. It's a really good kickboxing combination. Really solid one that everybody should be training from beginner level up. Jab, cross, rear low kick. Use this rest like I am. Stretch out if you feel tight anywhere. You know, if you're still tight after your warm ups, stretch a bit on your rest. Just move a little bit of mobility, twist your body. Get ready. Let's go. Jab, cross, kick. One, two, kick. One, two, kick. See how my kick follows the punches? There's no delay between. If you pull your hand back, it becomes one, two, ready, kick. We don't want that ready pause. We want one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Keep that breathing strong. Your pace should be high on this round. Again, it's a simple combo. It flows. 
One, two, three, reset, move. One, two, three, reset, move. Let's keep that going now. This is where you get fit. It's where you push yourself in these workouts now. Build up a good sweat. You can swim the arm straight back from the cross. See how I pull it down? I don't pull it back to my head and then try to reset and throw the kick. I'm immediately kicking straight away, no pause. Get that rhythm down so it feels like it flows naturally. The way you turn your body into the cross, the way you rotate your hips and your shoulders, it's the same direction you're turning for the kick. Use that movement, be efficient. One, two, three. Keep that guard high between as well. That's the hard thing when you get tired. Hands start to drop, don't they guys? I know it, I know it. So keep your hands up for me. We're getting to the end now. So keep the quality high. You're gonna rest soon. Keep moving. If you're tired, you don't stand still. You stand on your toes, you move about, you move your head. Never stand still. Nearly there, keep driving now. Time, round down, good job. You should be feeling it by now. You know, even if you're fit, if you're pushing yourself, you'll be getting out of breath, you'll be sweating. Next, next round, next combo, number five. You throw a right cross straight down the middle and as you pull your body back, you're switching into a lead leg roundhouse kick. I'm doing this from Orthodox. Feel free to join me. You can train from Southpaw as well. It works really nicely on both sides, this. Use the position of your body when you land the cross to whip it back into the kick. This can be a really devastating combo. It's a very simple combination, one punch and one kick. But I've seen this hurt a lot of people in kickboxing, in Thai boxing, K1 rules. You know, it's a good solid combo, so drill it. Okay, breathe deep, ready? Let's go, cross, switch roundhouse. Look how I pull my shoulder back from the cross and it pulls my, the, the front side of my body back into the kick. Pull that shoulder back, and drive your hip into the kick. In reality, in a fight, in sparring, as you throw in the cross, that's when you would be picking your target. You're thinking ahead of the game. For now, drill it up to the body, just above the waist, just hit them, just above the hip bone. Drive that wind out of them. You wanna wind them. You really, really tire them out that way. Some people think you can't start with a cross, but it's not that much slower than a jab. Just keep your guard up while you do it. Or time it. You know, in a fight, you might be moving, I'll be slipping, I might dodge something. I just feel the timing is right. Bang, throw that cross down the middle. It's a heavy shot. So they have to deal with it. You know, they have to respect that powerful punch. If they don't, you land a free punch. You know, you win either way. Tight guard when you start, punch down the middle, pull back to the kick. Heavy cross, heavy kick. Body weight in on both shots. If you need to get your breath back when you get tired, remember, active rest. Move around the bag with your guard up. Just jab in, maintain your distance, keep your guard up, bob and weave for me. That's how you do it. And if you're not tired, come on, let's go. Pace up higher, push yourself now. You should be feeling those lungs already. You shouldn't be exhausted. If you are, that's when you can slow it down. If you're fit, let's go. Level up, you're near, nearly there. Round's nearly down. This is halfway. Come on, so close. Let's go again. Time, rest. Okay, now you get a drink. Now you slow the pace down. Let's fill that body up with air. Breathe deeply. When you drink, just a sip. You know the rules, just a sip, just a little bit. Now getting ready for the next combination. I'm going back to Southpaw. This is a combination that I've thrown in the fights that I've got on this channel. If you go and watch my fights playlist, 
You'll see me throwing this from Southpaw. I throw it against Orthodox and against Southpaw as well. Jab, lead hook, rear low kick. It works from Orthodox as well. People get used to the rhythm of you going jab cross hook. So you throw jab and immediately pull your, pull your hand back and turn into the, the lead hook and then counter rotate into the kick. Jab, lead hook, rear kick. I'm doing it southpaw, you can join me. Let's go guys, jab, hook, kick. Jab, hook, kick. If you set this up right, you can really put your body weight into the kick. Just a little step, a little pivot. And you bring yourself across. It brings you off that center line as well, so you're harder to hit back. This is one of my favorite southpaw against orthodox combos. But like I say, it works. It works both ways. It works against same side, same side. Okay. Chin down, remember? Shoulders round. Just little bits of extra shielding for you. Now try and get the rhythm so you hook straight off the jab. Don't jab and reset jab and immediately be turning your body into it. We want to get rid of these little gaps, these little pauses. That's what's going to give you the advantage when you fight. We're nearly there. Let's keep digging in now. Drive in those knuckles on that hook as well. Make it count. If they block, it should keep them in position long enough for you to land the kick. You know, if they dodge or if you, you, know, if you don't hit them hard enough, if they don't respect it, you're going to have a harder time landing your kick. The kick I would throw at whichever height I felt was best in the moment, but keep drilling it to that leg for now. It's a leg kick. Box high, kick low. Box high, kick low. Nearly there, guys. Come on, push yourself now. Get some power in these shots. Whip the body in. Jab, hook, kick. Jab, hook, kick. Come on, you're nearly there. We're nearly done. There it is, time. Walk around, breathe deeply. Come on, fill your lungs up. You know the drill, fill those lungs up with air. Breathe deep, make them work. In this next combination, we're introducing these leg checks as well. So you're gonna be blocking a kick. Make sure you turn your toes out as if you're blocking with the shin. You're gonna go for a rear leg check, followed immediately by a rear roundhouse and then as soon as you land, pull back into a lead hook. So think about that. Check the kick, and as soon as your foot hits the ground, use that to bounce the kick up. You immediately kick. When your kick is coming back off the bag, you're turning the way you need to for a hook. So it should feel like it pulls you into the shot. Get ready. Go! Check, kick, hook. Block the kick, counter kick, finish with the hook. Now in sports like Muay Thai, you've got to land these counter kicks. They're good for scoring points. Land a good heavy kick to the body. And then you're going to follow up with extra shots. Do more damage. So block the attack and immediately counter. Get that reaction now. Build that muscle memory on the bag. Block, kick, hook. If you block and you put your foot down and stop, you lose the speed, you lose that extra bounce you can get into the kick. It makes a big difference, trust me. It might take a little bit of time to get used to drawing the kick into the hook punch, but take the time, develop that skill. And when you've got it, no pause. Let the kick pull your body weight back into the hook. If you pull yourself in, get that rotation, you'll have more speed, more power. Keep it going for me. Keep it going. Block, kick, punch. Block, kick, punch. Just keep that rhythm in your head. Now keep going. Keep that chin down. You're doing well. You're still doing it. Keep going. Block, kick, punch. When you check that kick, 
immediately you're ready for the kick there's no pause eh? no pause no waiting around keep that footwork going as well between those shots remember if you're tired keep moving don't stand still nearly there a few more now come on breathe and go breathe and go i want at least one more by the end get that block into the kick into the punch Time, rest, got a full minute again, use it. Breathing nice and deep, moving around. Going back to orthodox in the next combination, you're gonna start with your lead leg, throw a leg kick, and then bounce it straight up to the body. So double lead kick, leg, body. When you land, bring your body weight through into a cross. So nice three hit combination. This is a good one if you're finding it hard to get, get through somebody's guard. You know, you're both kind of standing off, facing off against each other. You can throw that leg kick. It's the closest target to you. So kick that leg out, bang, immediately bounce out. As soon as you take their balance, kick to the body. As soon as they're dealing with that kick to the body, you're coming in with the cross. So don't wait around. Get used to flowing with this and then really step on the gas. Get ready. Let's do it. Double the kick, and when you land, pull back into the cross. If you can get that body weight right, get that timing right off the kick, you'll nail people with the cross. Think accuracy on the punch, speed and power on the kicks, and get that footwork right, get that stance feeling good, land in a strong position, that's the best position to punch from. Two feet on the ground, drive that cross in. Remember, I've got shoulder injuries, so I'm not punching too hard. You guys can really drive the crossing with some power. Get the timing first, and the speed and the power comes next. Keep working the two heights on the kick as well. Don't be lazy with that. Make sure it is going to the leg and then up, nice and high, up to the body or up to the ribs. Now don't rush into the cross, just let it flow naturally. And you'll find you'll be catching people off balance if you don't rush. We're getting there now, so keep it going. Keep breathing deep as well. Breathing deep while you're moving. Use that footwork, head movement. Keep jabbing at the bag. Here we go, nearly there, you've nearly done it. Come on, keep working. Time, good job. Fill those lungs up for me. Move around, breathe deep, in through your nose, out through your mouth, regulate your breathing, don't rush. Calm yourself down. This next combination, we're going nice and simple again. We're going to attack and finish with a leg check. Because it's simple, I want you to keep the pace high. You throw a lead jab, rear low kick, and then immediately check their counter kick. So we were working checking to counter kick before. We've got to be ready for it to happen back to us. So you attack, jab, low kick, and then finish by blocking. We're getting to the end of the workout now, so you should be breathing heavier. I want you to really push yourself this round. Don't wait around too long between hitting. You wanna hit, block, move, hit, block, move. Get ready. On we go. Round nine. Jab, kick, block. Jab, kick, block. See how I'm bringing the knee up to my elbow as well? Creating that shield. I don't want to have a big gap between uh, my knee and my elbow. Especially if that counter kick is coming up to my body. I want to be able to shield it. You know, I 
fast whippy counter kick can get through a gap like that. You want to try and do it yourself and they're going to be trying to do it to you. So let's get ready for it on the back before we spar. Jab, kick, block. Jab, kick, block. Picture the kick coming back at you. You kick them, they try to kick you. Imagine it's coming at you and then the practice of the block is more efficient. Let's keep yourselves moving now. This is round nine. There's only one more after this. Let's keep going. Fill those lungs up when you move. We're nearly there now. You're gonna keep pushing for me, keep moving, keep striking. Drive in that low kick as well. You wanna feel that shin connect. Drive it in, drive it in. Jab, kick, block, let's go. Come on, a few more now, a few more. You're getting towards the end of the round. Come on, let's go, let's go. Keep your technique. Even if you're tired, keep your guard when you're striking. When you're in range, that's when you're gonna get hit back. Keep that guard, come on, right to the end. Time. Good job. We've got one more round to go. Get yourself ready. Get ready mentally. Breathe deep. This last round is all legs, okay? We go for a lead leg check into a rear low kick. A rear leg check into a lead low kick. So you go left check, right kick. Right check, left kick. You'll get a good rhythm with this going, so start slow, make sure you get it right, get it in your head, and then step on the gas. Left block, right kick, right block, left kick. So opposites, just keep going opposites, you can't go wrong. Left to right, right to left, left to right, right to left. Block and hit, block and hit, you get me? Let's get ready. Last one, let's go, final round. Block, kick, block, kick. Left block, right kick. Right block, left kick. Keep it up. If you say it fast enough, it's a tongue twister. If you do it fast enough, come on, you're gonna get fit. It's that final round, so make these kicks count. Feel that shin, drive it into your target. Come on, use that hard part of your leg, use the bone. Block and kick, block and kick. Ooh, breathing deep, come on. Put a lot of energy into these kicks. You don't have to hold anything back now, it's the last round. Keep that speed. Come on, it's one for one, one for one. You gotta be fast if you want to hit and not be hit back. So let's build that speed now, come on. Speed and stamina. Breathe strong, come on. Feel that lung coming in and out. Make them work, make them work. Come on. You're over halfway guys, come on. Last round, drive it in. Come on, those lungs should be burning by now. Finishing strong for me. Strong guard, strong kicks. Yeah. Strong position with your stance. Don't be don't be light on your feet. Be strong on your feet. This is where you build those habits for sparring. So come on, strong. Come on, we're so close to the end of the round. Come on, let's go, let's go. Oh, a few more kicks. Time. We are done. Good job. And hey, if you made it to the end, you got my respect. Well done. This is a decent workout. I hope you pushed yourself. And hey, do me a favor. If you like the workout, hit subscribe. I'm going to keep posting these and share the video for me. <laughs> I hope you're as tired as I am at the end of this. <laughs>
Smash that like button and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.